You, you know, it, it basically boiled down to five plays. Uh, you know, we um, – and, you know, anything you say will be an excuse, and I'm not going to do that. Um, we had guys in position to make plays, um, and, and we had guys uh, – we missed a fit early on. We, we, um, we sort of had a, a situation with Daz that came up that, that sort of threw us on our heels a little bit. You know, with, with, you know, we thought everything was going to be fine. He practiced, um, and it just became wise and smart not to take the chance to play him. He had a little nerve issue, and, and, um, and that sort of set us on our heels. We lost the fit. We corrected the first one. You know, even the first one, the thing that was disappointing was our angles. You know, you, instead of a long touchdown run, what we call fatals, I mean, three times we had guys make the, make the play, 20-yard game. You know, just make the tackle. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, that's part coaching, too. So that's my fault. And um, I thought we played hard. I thought, uh, uh, you know, one of the biggest plays of the game that was disappointing me is uh, the third and ten before halftime after we had turned the ball over. I don't, I don't remember the situation, but, uh, you know, we, we had, a, we had a, a drop coverage, and it was made for it, and, and our guy didn't play the coverage. And it was crucial. It was a mental mistake that cost us three points. It could have been the factor in getting the game into overtime. And, and then, of course, the last drive, uh, we got them in, in second and long, or excuse me, first and in, in in ten, and we miss a tackle in the backfield, and he, and he, and he breaks it for 30. So, uh, and, and unbeing to stop him. But, you know, uh, uh, so there were, there were some issues going in, and, and – um, you know, I, I'm sure you're aware. I don't. I guess you know we, we had some other issue at the second corners with Joey. You know, and and um, so a little there was a little drama last week trying to tie everything together. Well, the D line, you know, the D line linebackers were physical. It was not a if you if you watch the tape, you know, um, they were in what we call double jumbo. And, and, and you know, it's the same thing. You know, they make your secondary tackle. They you know, create gaps. Um, and and um, like I said, it doesn't, need, it doesn't do any good to go into names. But uh, we had some guys in the hole. I mean, really, uh, no game plays. That just, we just couldn't make the play. And, you know, uh, I say that again. I mean, there's things created that we tried to do to try to keep that from happening. And um, and so yeah, it was a uh, it was a little bit frustrating that we didn't get it done. Who's that? You know he's played well. He's been productive. Played very well. You know the two guys that stuck out in my mind were, were AJ and uh, um, Jamarcus Rhodes. Jamarcus Rhodes played out of sight. And, and uh, you know we we felt like him, uh, you know. And I know, as a team, they're, you know, going into the game, Todd was very pronounced in saying you have to beat these guys as a team. You know, you've got to you've got to score on them. You've got to make them un, un uh, where where they can't get in their numbers and rhythm, and you know, try to keep the ball and grind it out. And um, you know, <clears throat> we never felt at all that we were out of the game. You know, even with giving up the run, we never felt that. Because we knew we could get it corrected, um, and and you know offensively, uh, we we felt we could score on them, and it was uh, the after we scored, uh, I think the second half the score was ten to seven, you know we we had a couple of plays, you know the one play we gave up in the second half was just devastating. I mean just devastating. You know we had no margin for error. We had guys there. We had a you know just guys that could. And they can make those plays. They made them earlier. And uh, that's one of the things they do well. And, and, and is, is Stanford, you sort of know what you're going to get. Now, hey, you know what? They tell you, hey, stop it. Well, I'm not sure. You know, Karan played well versus San Diego State, which was a physical team. Um, I'm a believer of this. Todd and I both talked about this. You get your best players on the field. And, and if you don't watch it, 
if you remember in that game, I mean, they, they would go from spread in 12 personnel to, to double tight. So if, if you're trying to play a game with them, and one of the things he mentioned, he said, you know, in 13 I made a mistake. I tried to specialize with all my substitutions, and he said they, they, they hurt me with it. So um, we were trying to get our best players on the field. And, you know, like I say this, I mean, it, 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 was, it was disappointing that we gave up the, the plays and, and, you know, just cut them in half. And that's a 24-20 that's, that's a to 20 game. And make them do some things that we didn't think they were good at. You know, uh, you know when they threw the ball, you know, we felt like we were very capable uh, of covering them and matching them and those things. Well, we, you practice it in practice, strips, clubs, you know, trying to get the ball out. I mean, Jamarcus did an unbelievable job on the scene pass. What a, what a play. Great play. And, 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 and we keep counting of them daily. Um, you know, and when, when you have, uh, you know, in the, like in the secondary, when you have newness and the inexperience, uh, you hope you grow where you can say, you know what, I can, I can read the ball better. I can, you know, I'm getting better at doing some certain things. And uh, uh, we just haven't progressed to that point. Now, we played a unique schedule. In, in, in five games, we played two uh, what I would call hammer teams, you know, um, and three, you know, spread teams. So it's been sort of a unique, um, you know, first five games. You know, we moved J.J. You know, we were a little bit, you know, be quite honest with you, uh, uh, we were trying to fast track him. And that's not, he's going to be good. And, and, and fast track Abe. You know, we had, a, we had a little bit of a, you know, issue there in that game. And so we said, you know, we're, how can we get our best players on the field? Just, we felt like we were good enough inside. You know, and quite honest, George, you know, had some chances. And didn't own up to it. He might not be the guy. It might be Shannon Foreman. You know, it might be Rennell Wren. We haven't made that decision yet. And uh, we're just trying to get the best guys on the field. And like I said, I mean, uh, uh, I think we've talked about it before. AJ's been productive, whether it's been end or, or devil. He's been productive. And we do believe that, that JJ is going to be a player. Um, you know, you just, those guys and what we're doing are, are pretty important. Say that again. You know, it's a process. It, it really is. I mean, if you would ask, uh, uh, you know, obviously, when we started the season, we had Joey. We had uh, we didn't have a guy that had ever been a starter in the secondary, and, and being a JUCO guy, both of both of those guys had never started a college game. Uh, I'm going to give uh, uh, Kobe as an example. You know, Kobe played one year uh, of junior college football. So basically, he's a true freshman. Um, it's been a process. Uh, the thing you love about Kobe is, is he is such a fierce competitor. And, and uh, is he perfect? No. Is, is, is he, you know, he is a guy that um, he has so much. And I tell people this. They said, oh, you must, it must be frustrating. You know, it's frustrating about not getting done what you want all the time consistently enough. And I think I've said that in here. We're fighting consistency. But these kids are, are busting their tails. And, and I don't think it's, you know, there's no uh, finger pointing. There's no, hey, this, that. They know for us to make the strides, which we can. You look at this league, every week we'll have a chance to win. Every week. And we've got to get better. We've got to get better in the secondary. You know, and I've got to do a better job coaching it. You know, I don't know yet. Uh, Jeff, to be quite honest with you, today he went half a day. You know, uh, you know we're not going to be able to wave a magic wand. And, and, you know, when you play in the secondary, it's just not ability. It, it's, it's, it's awareness. It's reps. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's you got to have a total package. And, uh, you know, there's a reason they pay those people $40, $50 million in the secondary. I mean, you've you got four, four guys coming at you. 
and, and and what we're looking is long term. You know how you know you look at him, you look at Evan Fields. You know I, I have a goal to try to get Evan better, but but I don't want to put Evan on the field and him not be you know knowledge is power back there, and when you don't have knowledge and you're playing a tempo offense, they can make you. Now he's athletic, but but everybody says you know boy he's fast he's this but you know what. When you're sitting there, boom, 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 in the plays, all of a sudden you become slow and and, and just a guy. And, and we want to do that in in due time. What we want is, is being able to. You know, I'd love to be able to take Kobe out for a series and say, "Hey, this is what they're doing. This is you know we just haven't had the the luxury of doing that yet." And it, it, does that answer your question? Oh yeah, there's potential there. Uh, how fast? I don't know. You know, I, I think both of them have taken great. They, you know, they missed a couple of fits on, on Saturday. They own up to it. They have shown great maturity and they have shown great leadership. And, and I'm very appreciative. You know, a lot of times. I, Guys, I've done this a long time, and when frustration, like Saturday, when you're sitting there and you're one missed tackle and two missed tackles away from winning a game, all of a sudden you start, you know, it's easy. All of a sudden them hands come out of the pocket and say, you know, it's Jeff's fault. You know, it's Mark's fault. And, and um, number one, I'm not going to allow it. But I've never had to address a thing. The thing, the accountability factor leads me to believe that we will get better uh, as we progress. I mean, they were a unique offense. Let's face it, probably we probably probably not our best matchup. But you know what? So what? There's a lot of people. We got to do a better job. I got to do a better job. And um, and as I told them, it's a we thing. I can promise them that we're going to prepare them uh, the best we possibly can. You know, to go out and and and. Uh, Defeat Washington. You know, I, I, he's getting closer. Uh, he's getting closer, uh, but I don't see him right now. You know, uh, 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 being better than than Kobe or or um, uh, Lucas. You know, and that's the thing that I think that that you know we're trying to get Mo back in there. Mo's, Mo played very well. On special teams, that was a good start for him. So uh, that that's that's what we're dealing with right now.